Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can use Metjourney to create our very first NFTs. So, if you don't know what these NFTs are, actually, I mean, Google says that NFTs are non-fungible tokens which generally created to use the simple type of rune used for cryptocurrencies. So, uh, basically, let's imagine, guys, that like um, there's only one um, NFT like this and you sell this image so when you sell this image this automatically becomes into an nft so um someone else can try to emulate can try to like do exactly the same image the, sa the same um digital art but since you've created this image like for the very first time and when you sell that this one automatically becomes an nft it's like you are like getting an limited edition CD of your best artist. Um, this is exactly what happens here with the NFT. So if you want to create your own NFT and you want to sell that using Majoni, what I can strongly suggest to you is to have course this code. Now this code is something that can be helping us to have Majoni uh, downloaded. So if I open a new tab and go for Majoni, what's gonna be happening here I need to install this in order to continue. So what I need to do is to join the beta mode, and this one is going to be sending me into the uh, into the server from Discord. That's the reason why you want to have Discord already enabled, and you want to accept the invitation to Met Journey. So once you accept the invitation, you're going to be seeing something like this. Here is the Met Journey. So um, in order to get started here and to Met Journey and to start creating your own NFTs. Um, let's say here that what I wanted to do is to first create my very first server Go into add a server and here you want to choose whether a template or choose your own and You want to customize this as you wanted to but in my case once I have this successfully done I have created this one called AI Artworks so once I am back here into my Metjoni server I want to look for the actual community chat I want to scroll a bit up and here in the newcomer I want to locate newbies you want to choose whatever you want to but just be sure that this one says newbies and in here I want to look for the majority bot which is actually this one if you don't see that you can go into the team members members list and here you want to look for the majority bot add to server and here I want to select the one that I've created uh, here it is mad team community and go into continue just like that. And now as you can see, the AI artwork has now been added into my channel. So I'm gonna scroll all my way up so you guys can see how it's gonna be looking into your server. So as you can see, this one says, welcome Metjoni bot, say hi. So uh, what I can do here is to go to the fast forward slash and here I want to look for Metjoni bot. And here are the few uh, elements that we can choose to make Metjourney work uh, as we want to do. We have the ask, we have the fast, but we only want to focus into imagine. This one, it says there are endless possibilities. If I type, let's say for example, that I want to look for um, a cat dressed like an astronaut riding a blue unicorn. You tap here a cat dressed like an astronaut riding a unicorn. You go into the answer button and the computer is gonna be generating something like this like boom really really uh, easy to do and this won't take you more than let's say I don't know maybe um, one two minute and once you do have uh, that what you want to do is to either choose the U options or the VE options so I'm going to scroll a little bit down so I'm going to show you something here U stands for upscale if I choose upscale I can choose image number one two three or four or V1, V2, V3, and 4. B stands for variations. So what you want to do is to, if you want to see like different variations based on an image that you'd like to do, you want to select, let's say for example, uh, the image number two, right? So I want to choose variations of the image number two. You clicked in there, and the computer is going to be doing their work. Now, I asked the computer to do something a little bit different than this, uh, something more um, let's say general, so I typed a cat riding a unicorn. 
So as you can see, it created me something like this. So speaking about the upscale, what I did is to actually choose upscale the image number one because I think that for my taste of good here, I think that the first one is going to be helping me a lot. So I choose upscale number one. And here I scroll a little bit down and here's my image upscaled. So based on this image, what now I did is to tell the computer to make some variations because as you might see like there is a tiny 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 uh, toe here this is a little bit weird I don't know if I can see like a tail from the cat I think is this one I can change the cat uh, face so speaking about that what I can do is to select the option that says make variations and here are four more variations based on the image that we've already created, generated by the bed journey. So as you can see, this is image number one, two, three, and four. So what I did is exactly the same process. I choose, for example, variation number four. And this one gave me four variations of this image, which is actually this one. And I just upscale the image number three, which is this one. And this is the final result. So lastly, what I just need to do is to download this image. I hit into uh, save image as, and here what you want to do, let's say I want to choose a uh, cat unicorn NFT, NFT, and hit into save. So lastly, what I can do is to open a new tab, and here what I can do is to, let's say for example, go into open AI, the OpenSea application platform where what we can do is to actually start to sell our NFTs. You just want to choose a wallet that you already have. In my case, I do have MetaMask. I choose my MetaMask here. I just sign in and the rest is just uh, simple. So I'm going to hit into my passcode like this. I unlock this. I'm just going to wait a few seconds here. I go into got it. I hit into got it once again. And I want to reload the page of OpenSea, choose MetaMask, and blah, blah, blah. The rest is exactly the same. There we go. And then what we want to do is to go into uh, Collections, hit into Create It, or you want to actually create a new one. Select Create. And here, it would be just as easy as to upload the image that we just um, downloaded from the desk code of Metjoni. You want to, of course, make sure that here into Imaging, I want to delete everything here. I want to tap fast forward and choose settings. So here into settings, I'm going to tap enter. And what I want to do is to make sure that I have a really high quality of my images. Otherwise, this just be looking like too, not too good. So you want to leave it like that. The style very high, the video upscale at the public mode and leave it like that and then you can just download your image as you have those already been created so with that being said guys we can now import our images and well this is um the way of how can we actually create nfts using metoni so thank you so much for watching the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools about this amazing metoni thank you so much for watching the video guys and well i will see you in the next one see you soon